Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. This is Amit and in this video we are going to talk about how we can integrate Salesforce with Amazon S3. So before we go ahead and uh, actually get started with the implementation, let's quickly talk about named credential in Salesforce. Uh, because to authenticate Amazon with Salesforce, we are going to use named credential. And named credential is a very easy way to integrate with a third party system without uh, worrying about when the token is getting expired and we need to make another call out to get the refresh token or uh, uh, we also no need to worry about uh, remote side settings everything is taken care by Salesforce itself all we need to do is we need to go ahead and create a name credential provide the required information like uh, username and password we can also provide uh, client ID client secret or in case of Amazon AWS we need to provide uh, access key and secret key so let's quickly see how we can get the access key and secret key so just to log in into the Amazon console what we need to do is uh, we need to visit uh, a URL called signin.aws.amazon.com if you don't have a user please go ahead and create a new AWS account it is absolutely free it will uh, verify your credit card it will ask the credit card details but it will not uh, it will not uh, charge any money so don't worry about that uh, thinking about that your money will be charged nothing is going to be charged from your account it is absolutely free and you will also get some free services by sell, uh, Amazon AWS or Amazon services and if you are uh, using their resources more than that is provided in free account then only you will get charged so for the integration purpose you can use this uh, you can log in into your uh, AWS account and first thing that we will do is we will get access key and secret key because those are the two important things that we need to have while we are doing the authentication to get the access key and secret key what we need to do is we just need to go to the username find out my security credentials and as soon as you'll click it will open a new window for you in the new window you will get ample number of options you don't need to worry about that any of this just click on this access keys as soon as you will click access key you can see I already have two I can generate only two with this license so what how, how you will see here so let's quickly uh, delete this I'm not using this access key so I can delete this now you can see this button is uh, popped up I can uh, click on this button that is create new access key so as soon as I click on this access key button I'll see I have got this option saying that your access key and access ID has been generated either I can click on this so access key or I can download that file so I'll suggest you to download that file for the future reference that we are going to use in the named credential so this was the first step second step is to create a named credential into Salesforce so I already have that name credential available into my Salesforce but I will show you what all are the required parameters while uh, connecting with Amazon because the authentication of Amazon Web Services is very tough uh, because it uh, requires to generate some signature using HMAC SH4 and which is very tough to generate uh, and even if you try to generate you'll definitely get, be able to generate that but sometimes it requires uh, uh, it generates a different uh, signature that actually requires to send to Amazon AWS to get the uh, resources from the uh, Amazon AWS which are se uh, secured resources so to make sure that everything works very smoothly and we already have that ability in Salesforce so why we write ample number of code or ample number of uh, lines to get that uh, access to uh, code generated uh, using that algorithm so for that just go to named credentials uh, that will you will get under security controls there is a name credential option and you can see that I already have this one uh, one uh, I already have I will create a new to show you what uh, what are all the required fields and what are all the values that you need to put so this is a name that you can put anything like you wanted to put AWS s3 you can put that and it will automatically going to populate the name that is the API name and then this is a URL so how you are going to generate a URL what actually here will be so, so URL is nothing it is a combination of a scheme so we can see here this is the, you, this is going to be your URL the combination of a scheme a scheme is always going to be HTTPS 
call in double forward slash plus instance name so instance name is the name of your uh, AWS server that you are going to access like uh, you are trying to access S3 you are going to access uh, EC2 or you are trying to access some other uh, Amazon server so in this tutorial we are going to talk about S3 so our uh, URL will be HTTPS forward slash S3 and then we have got reason name so from where you will get the reason because uh, Amazon have multiple regions where uh, your Amazon servers are running and in which region you actually wanted to connect with Amazon. So again to get the reasons you will see here you are into your account. If you wanted to go to services just go to service and find S3 here because we wanted to work with S3. Just click on that and it will redirect you to the S3 console. So if you see into your URL on the top you can see here uh, there is an attribute available or we can say a query parameter is available that is reason equal to AP South one So this is your reason that you can put there So as you see here we have got uh, AP South, we have got US East uh, you have, uh, we, we also have multiple regions so if you see here in the global uh, you can see that these are all the regions that uh, that might be available for us but we don't have that region that's why we are not able to select here you can see that there is a message saying s3 doesn't require region selection that's why we are getting here if we go back to the previous screen you'll definitely see that option to select and we have got multiple regions here ap east ap south ap northeast southeast so these are the various regions that are available to you so that's why it is required to provide the reason in which region actually you wanted to connect with your AWS and then in the last you need to just pro, uh, put amazon aws.com and forward slash don't forget to put that forward slash so if you forget to put that forward slash you'll get the error while you are trying to test your web service so how to remove uh, how to either you can go ahead and edit put that forward slash or you can put that into your code how to put that I'll definitely show you so that's what uh, everything is there here in the blog post and at the end our URL is going to be like this HTTPS colon double forward slash instance name which is S3 reason US H1 Amazon AWS dot com forward slash if you don't put definitely you, uh, you are free to not to use that forward slash but uh, I'll always recommend to put that forward slash because that is very crucial in case of this URL and you will see like a screen like this that's what we are seeing here and then in the identity type if you see here uh, under authentication section you just need to select named principal because we are going to connect with uh, Amazon AWS for the authentication protocol click on the drop down you will see there is option available AWS signature version 4 you just need to select that as soon as you'll select you will see all uh, four more options available for you the first option is the access key the access key that you have downloaded uh, you generated into the first step second is the secret key that you can uh, uh, put the secret key there as well then we have got AWS reason AWS reason is the same reason that you have found here uh, from your Amazon S3 console and then you have got this Amazon service that is S3 if you wanted to connect with EC2 you can use that EC2 as well now if you click on cancel here and you will try to edit this you will see all the information is filled here by me so I'm using this key I have got the secret key reason S3 and if you notice that I'm not using that forward slash so now we are done with the name credential let's quickly try to test this what we will uh, do here is if you see that I have got five buckets out of five I have got four buckets which are under reason US East one and for this reason I have this my name credential setup if I wanted to connect with another reason that is uh, AP South I can connect with this reason as well for that I need to go ahead and create one more name credential because one name credential can be associated with only one reason now we have I have got this so we just need to test this how we can test this so this is a piece of code that is already available to you for the blog post you just need to go ahead open developer console and then in the developer console you need to paste that code click on execute and boom 
you are good to go so if we click here let me co complete paste here so as you know how to make a call out again as we are trying to access some third party system which is s3 we need to create a request we need to send a request and we then we can get to what is the body what status code it is what is the status and uh, uh, more information that we are getting like headers and all so that's what we did here is we prepared a request for the endpoint again this is a very crucial thing in case of name credential as we are using name credential this will always be remaining same as call out colon and the name of your name credential that you have created so the name credential that we have created the name is aws underscore s3 so this is what i have given here now as for the url endpoint i have not given that for slash and if i try to click on execute here let's try to click on execute and see what we are getting as an output so i'm going to click on execute it will open a debug log for me i'll just uh, filter out for to just to display the debugs and you can see that we are getting the errors let me give it a room for you we are getting an error saying status code is 400 uh, 403 status is forbidden and we are saying that the signature that sales was just calculated doesn't match with the signature that amazon system is calculating so how to reduce the uh, how to overcome with this error you need to do nothing just put a forward slash next to your request and as soon as you click here on execute this time we will be able to get the output from our amazon and that was the because of that semicolon or uh, forward slash now you can see here okay we have got this complete debug log we have got a status code as 200 which means our request was to an okay and we were able to get the results here if you see or if i copy this and go to xml formatter because the output is in xml format so i can quickly go ahead and format this xml just to see what output we have got here and we have got some error because of this let's try to do this now okay sorry this is not the complete information that uh, is there in the debug log but still you can see here uh, we have got uh, bucket name is amit sl uh, amit salesforce and then we have got uh, salesforce test so these are all the buckets that are available here we can quickly see amit salesforce amit salesforce test and we got amit sfdc so these are all the buckets that we have got and the owner that we uh, saw that was amit a sing sfdc so this was the owner uh, for all those buckets so this is how quickly you can integrate amazon with the salesforce or salesforce with amazon vice versa what all operations are available there for that you need to find out uh, amazon s3 web services or we can say that amazon s3 api or uh, this is the rest api that you can find out there are uh, mainly two mainly two objects uh, mainly two operation that we do is actually put and get get just to get the information about our uh, bucket or put is just to post some information like images into the uh, amazon s3 server or we wanted to post some files like uh, we wanted to do some backup uh, on the amazon side from the salesforce uh, for a particular object for some files or some uh, uh, key files some key documents we can use anything so here is a api for you you can uh, start uh, using that api so suppose that uh, i wanted to use uh, put so you can say that put objects here just to search for put object because put is the main method uh, which you are going to work here so you can say put object retentions and this is the one amazon simple storage services that is s3 so if you click here now you can see that uh, this is the object that you are uh, this is uh, the complete information about that operation what should be your uh, url what should be the host uh, for the date how you are going to pass the authorization you no need to worry about authorization because it is already taken care by salesforce 
as soon as you started using name credential and you will see every single information about uh, what to send into the system and how you will get all those information so this is it for this video if you have any questions please feel free to comment down into the comment section of this video and uh, i will see you soon thank you